Alright, welcome to Nykos. Today is Felstone Chronicles. Today's episode, a cheesy hag sandwich. Alright, so... <laughs> okay. <sorry. laughs> you can tell where this is going to go already. Um, mm. I'm Jonathan Alvin, the Game Master and uh, Game Market Guru, and also known as Commander Clueless. And the, the rest of the team here are going to introduce themselves in a moment. Character name, class, race, and how you would... Uh, what you would want as a trophy from the mansion hag. We'll always call her that for now. Um, and let's go from uh, uh, Mooncat to Xavier to uh, Pilar. And then we'll add the new player in. I'm Mooncat Shadow Shadow. Somebody, 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 somebody. No, I got it right. Yeah, I'm Mooncat Shadowstalker. I'm a Dayan Elf, which is a High Elf. Uh, I um, I am not from now. I'm from an earlier time, uh, but I got here somehow, and now I'm kind of wrapped up in all the mess that's going on here. <laughs> and I go from point A to point B, and never exactly sure what was in between. And answer the question. What do, you want oh, as a, what do you want as a trophy? Absolutely nothing of hers. Oh, okay. I wouldn't want to be contaminated by anything that might have belonged to her. Xavier. Mm, my name is Scott Grendel. I play Xavier the Hyrie Inquisitive Blinded Robe. Um, as far as trophies go, I'd have to say if we could drag it out, I would want the rem Means of that tree because you always re be want to be reminded and wary of things that almost kill you. So, so something from the Hagen tree, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, Valer. I'm Valer, the dragonborn ish, paladin ish. And uh, if I, it was me looking for uh, trophies, well, let's think here. I wouldn't mind one of them long johns, because sometimes hags are good cooks, uh, but sometimes they have kids in the mix. Uh, I wouldn't mind the eternal love and affection of a dragon, but uh, I don't think there's any to be had. Uh, maybe some ashes Man. from the house after I burn it down. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, and... Uh... Go ahead and give us a character description there, uh, Tarmok, and, and what would you do uh, with, uh, what would you want as a trophy from killing a hag, since you don't have any context for this one in particular. I am Minos Terinthian. I am a Minotaur and a Barbarian Path of the Berserker. Um, and the only trophy I would want would be the severed head of my enemies. Nice. Yeah, that we can talk to the hag over and over again. The best thing about that is that if she if she's dead, you'll always get the last word. Did I say that out loud? That came out out loud. Always the last word. Why is it that I have such fun killing hags, I wonder? I'm making sure I don't you guys, know. I don't know why that... <laughs> We should do it more often. It's uh, We'll do it. <laughs> How many hags does this make that this group has killed? Uh, Valera, how many do you have left to go? Let me That's look. a better question. Uh, let me look. I think it was 300 originally. Uh, 290. Yeah, yeah. This so he's the killed 10. Hag. This is the 10th hag. He's got 290 to go. <laughs> You're keeping count? Wow. Absolutely. <laughs> tell, tell her how. So it's just a, bra a giant brass dragon came out of the sky, gave me a piece of paper that told me where all the hags are in the world. And said that I got that there's 300 of them, and that I should kill them. So I said, "Aye, aye, Captain." Yeah, I'm gonna have to do my duties. And that's because of, <laughs> all because I created an, a, a magical item known as the Hagrid. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, I for thought any, that for, for any fans Maybe of fan, any fans of any kind of uh, fan, uh, uh, sci-fi fantasy magic, probably knows who Hagrid is. So. <clears throat> yeah, that's the that's the reason for the pun. Uh, I thought the Hagrid was a compass, not a piece of paper. No, it's oh, it is literally it's a, a 
paper with a grid on it. And it shows you the space within, what, 10 miles? I don't even know. I think, I think you can very scale on it because you've got it down to where you can see with literally in the room whether the person in the room is the hag. So. I leave it up to the DM's discretion and therefore... Therefore it changes. <laughs> therefore it the changes. <laughs> <laughs> I trust implicitly what John tells me with the Hagrid, so there we go. Okay, I can see it now. He's closing in on it. The thing is zooming in and getting into the last 10 feet. You open up the door, and suddenly it zooms out 10 miles. Right. And the hag's not there. Well, no, you usually see a really pretty lady. Uh, no, the hag or took a off. Child or no, a... you, you usually find a really pretty lady. She says, oh, she just left out the back door. And then you cut her head off because that was the hag. <laughs> kind of like the cook right now. Yeah. All right. So the setup is uh, the you as a tarmac, uh, Minas will add you in a moment. But uh, for, for right now, the rest of these have to finish this little task. So um, might find you in the basement. Well, you didn't. You found her in the kitchen. No, so, him. Oh, might find him. Yeah, he more than likely is in the basement being kept for a nice beef stew a little bit later, maybe. More than likely. Yeah. Hey, Amanda, that's what you tried to feed us. Yeah, it was. That's right. So, yeah. That makes sense. That was your brother that she cooked earlier. Great. Anyway. Off with our head. There you go. <laughs> okay. So, we guess we should just go ahead and roll for this because you'd already, she'd already revealed herself and pulled out her ladle, so she's armed. Yeah. She's already armed. Oh, so. She's armed! Get back! You have no idea. The, I'll tell you the story of the ladle. We'll speed a little bit later. Okay. I will ladle your blood! <laughs> I will ladle your brains! That's Adel. That would be a 17 initiative for a figure. Okay. Plus three is sixteen. And I am a f fourteen. Fourteen. Oh, that's all. Okie dokie. Well, I only got a fourteen. So anybody else before fourteen? Me. Go. So. Scott first. Well, yeah. Yeah. Xavier, since he can't get the flank on her due to the situation, is just going to try to. Oh, but do he's something black. Completely... Oh, oh Because I, I can't get the flank because he were like in front of her. Right. Yeah. Be the best you oh. could do would be run clear around to the back because you know that there's a kitchen door now. Which I think you, you get before. a flank as soon as, like, a flank is not necessarily on her six. It's when there's another person engaging her as well. As right, me. as long as you hold your action for someone else to attack, you can then use your attack. So after. I'm going to delay till the lair goes. And right, then, so you just, uh, you just hold, yeah, you ha hold for the opportunity, and that way any opportunity yeah. will like, afford you the chance. Sure. Okay, so Valer then. Valer launches headily into the attack. Of course he does. Uh... He's going to use Frogarach and his shield. Okay. Uh, and activating a Divine Smite so that next time he hits, it's going to hurt. Okie dokie. Um, in Ooh. reaction, she's going to attempt a, a, a leverage push to push you onto the griddle. So you okay. do your action, and then we'll see whether or not she succeeded in moving you off and causing you to crash into the hot griddle. Well, my first attack does not hit. Swoosh. It was a two. Nice. How kind of you to let me, uh, how kind of you to miss so that I have an opportunity. Go ahead, take your second. And then out. I got a non nat 20. All righty. Well, she rolls the classic that I always start out with, natural one. So go ahead. <laughs> he goes on the griddle. She goes on the griddle. She, <laughs> you fainted and she goes face down on the griddle. Ah! But speaking of which, I'm going to uh, Thunderous Smite. Hey, some... So she has to roll a strength save. Oh. That's what I need. Can she save herself? Uh, she actually does. She's got roll a 16. Yeah, so she made her strength save. 
Okay. Two. Oh, that's the wrong weapon. My bad. Give me a second. Wrong dice. I have found the coolest die roller on on screen ever. Yeah? Yeah. Where's it go? Uh, I, just, I just put in the search dice roller on on Google, and it comes up with a little like little app like thing, and it's all brilliant colors. It's really pretty. Ooh, Travis on yeah, a but... that is twenty seven points of damage. Ow, she's she shrieks. Go ahead and roll another d ten for the for the griddle damage, since she went Ooh. face down on the griddle. Oh, There's a gigantic cute. explosion of a thunderous smite. Oh, God. It's heard 300 feet away. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, my eardrums. Four more points of damage. Yeah, yep. she she's shrieking in, in anguish. Uh, the smell of... The, uh, however, ironically enough, there is a puff of steam and a, uh, a, a piquant scent of bacon wafts over the maple from the long johns. Mm -hmm. so that the, is... Okay. It's actually okay. It smells even better in here, <laughs> for the fat of her face burn, burning. Delicious. <laughs> hag hey, face. Oh okay. Uh, this hey, this candied hag. Gonna... Xavier gets his uh, opportunity attack now. Yeah, and he will scream, "That is mixed with Kyle and go for the attack. Since I have the. I didn't hear a and word of what you be... shouted. I wanted you to re-shout it because I didn't hear that. That is that... mixed with child. You. That is mixed with child. That is mixed with child. <laughs> Jeez. And <laughs> that would be a... There's lot, plenty of John oh. in those long Johns. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he really got you there, huh? Um, fifteen to hit. <laughs> that is fifteen will hit. Uh, that that is that has to be as 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 powerful a line in Nikos as. <laughs> as <laughs> Soylent Green is people. <laughs> that is mixed with child. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> and I will be a Xavier like. Famous line, right? Yes. At least at this point. <laughs> it is being put in the record books as we speak. <laughs> so. Famous lines from the game. Mm. Xavier <laughs> to a hag. That, no, that really changes the way people say, say you don't want to ever walk through town near near uh, Valera and say, yes, uh, my, 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 my wife is with child. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> they'll have to whip out the Hagri to make a quick check. <laughs> Just checking. Ah, oh, good for you. Oh, good for Congratulations. you. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Sir, I have some bad news for you. <laughs> I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> what do you mean? She's not with child? Well, she is. But not like you think. <laughs> <laughs> She's not going to be for much longer. It's okay. Oh, God. Hi, horrible. Tomato. Uh, Welcome, Tomato. You got here just in time. That was a hor horrible. We're life. just starting in on uh, dinner. I mean the hag. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, she's, ar she's already offered more bacon to the screen than we needed. Um, oh, and you should have heard Xavier's <laughs> battle <laughs> cry. I did hear it. Yeah, he got, he, he, he got here just in time to hear it. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Eleven points of damage. Oh, she, I yeah, rolled she's... really bad on the. What, what weapon? You're using a knife, right? A dagger? <laughs> a sword. Oh. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, roll a d6. Okay, another d6. He used the flat of the blade just to push her head into the grid a little more. And just... another five. Okay. So I was just checking whether or not you are able to pull the blade back because you stabbed her while she's next to a wooden cabinet. You know, because she's oh. in front of the stove, and so the, the, the structure, would, yeah. So, no, you're, you're fine. You're able to pull the blade back out. She falls to the ground. You'll never find the treasure if you kill me. Kill her. Hey, that's okay. Uh, Don't it's it. uh, Mooncat, I think, is next. Yep, she thinks an arrow in her. 
Roll to hit. Okay. Why do they always think we want treasure? It's like they think we're poor. I, you uh, may not be poor. I am. You're not um, poor. You're not poor. It's an adventure of me. Uh, the 15 plus uh, you got her. three you got her. and the 15 two. Was an AC yeah. hit, so go ahead. Okay. I knew it'd be eight. I could have had a D8. Uh, could have had D8. a V8, but we're in the wrong campaign. Oh, man. Oh, I rolled a seven. Very nice. Seven plus five. Yeah, you put the arrow right right through her throat. She sits there gasping and gagging, scouting <laughs> blood, and dies. Yay! Burn her body. Oof. Put it into the that's, fire. That's a lovely idea. He opens up the oven. Um. Oh, the, 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 by the way, the uh, the uh, uh, cinnamon rolls that are in there are just just being uh, perfectly finished. You can pull them out now if you want. Oh, good, good. He <laughs> he gets a, a, a one of the the oven mitts and yeah, yeah. pulls it out, puts it on top. Oh, Great those need totally. those Great. will need to cool for a bit. Yeah, exactly. And then you toss her in. <laughs> well, yeah, well we first need... he checks her pockets for loose change. Oh, there we go. There's like like a key or something. Yeah, you mean like the key that's on that chain with the little rabbit's foot on it? Yeah, yeah, that. Only one. it's a sec gen rabbit's foot, so it's a whole foot. Oh, that's... A uh, <laughs> little bit of fur at the ankle, only way you could tell it was a rabbit. <laughs> Somewhere out there, there's a sec gen rabbit going, that's not funny! <laughs> Anything else on her corpse? Um, Just the, just the one key and uh, a bag around her neck. A little oh, tiny, that? maybe inch square bag. I think we better take it and discover what it is. Or we burn it. Uh, just stand back. It's probably no good. She had a lot of traps. So Valera carefully opens yeah, the door. Yeah, I'm going to I go across the room and stand outside the door, just peeking in. He uh, holds uh, it away from his face. As you, you know. hold the bag away from your face and open it, a w tiny wisp of blackish smoke comes shooting out of it. With a shrieking laugh, it bounces off of three of the walls and then escapes through the window. Oh, Rath well, that's nice. <laughs> Be good now, you hear? You never know. They, they, they have captive bad things and good things, so... Oh, well. Anything else in there now? No. No. Okay. The back is covered with a little bit of black soot. Remind reminiscent of the bags on the train. Ah. Oh well. Throws it in. Into the oven you go. Yep. Now, let's what do you check think? this. 350 for 20 hours? Yeah, it should be good. It should no, be crank it up to 450. Oh, okay. 450. She, she wants to take less time. And plus, ah. plus she wants that skin extra crispy, you know. Extra mm -hmm. crispy. Yeah, but you gotta also get into the inner middle of it. Well, yeah, yeah, but by, by... It is for the marinade. Okay, this is a this is a very this, obviously she must have been a chicken because this is a very foul discussion. So. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. If anyone's upstairs, I'm yeah. coming. <laughs> what about downstairs in case she has prisoners? Oh, well, that too. There is a root cellar, right there by the kitchen, out, just outside. Let's split. Let's let's split the party like the good old days. No. <laughs> No. Okay, we'll check the, the root cellar first. Since we're here. Okay. Okay. Give the butler time to run. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. He's, I mean, he's, it's, halfway, we to, stay on the... he's halfway to Topeka by now. Um, well, shall we stay on the left-hand side of the room? Right. Aye, yes. Yeah, yes. That's... Good, good yeah. memory. Good memory. BP for that. Uh, you get to the uh, um, storm cellar, and the doors are folded over and locked. Uh, it's a big padlock looking thing. Okay. It tries to just break the door. Okay, so uh, go ahead and make a strength check. Nat 20. Okay, roll a d6. Four. The door cracks and splinters but does not break open. Hmm. 
Xavier, you want to take a crack at it? Yeah, shit sure. split off a little bit. Okay. A little bit of a Charlie horse. Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna do my uh Sleight of hand. I'm gonna use my yeah. Sleight of hand and toolkit. Okay, DC fourteen. Yep. Yep. What'd you get? And my sleight of Wait a minute, do I not have sleight of hand for some reason? That would be odd. We have tools. You have these tools. Yeah. The tools give you a base of 14. If you have uh, proficiency with the, uh, the... If you have sleight of hand, you get proficiency with it. So if you don't have that, you can ha still have proficiency with the kit because you are allowed one kit as a rogue. Unless you took the, so, forgery, unless you took the forgery kit or one of the other kits, then you, you should be able to You might have taken forger's it. kit. Did oh, you, did you take the so forgery kit? Ah, something told me I did, but I think it you were all about were, books. I got a papers, so I think you're right. So yeah. you you wouldn't have the kit. So it would be a straight check. So, so that read? would be a four. Yeah. So it does not open. Can I try? Absolutely. Um, yeah. You don't have a kit. Sure. So straight... Blast it or something. Yeah. You can do something magic to it if you want. Or mm -hmm. you can try to open it. There is a spell called Wizard Lock, but I think that's fifth level, fourth level. There's also yeah. a one called Shatter. Yes. Level two Shatter. spell. I think it can be Okay, so level. note to self. Take ten weeks to learn flight of hand, because that's <laughs> a little bit annoying. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> that, that's a BP. That's, almost, that's as good as uh, um, when Ali didn't like what was, or Cord didn't like what was going on, he just put his name tag down and says, I'm name tagging this conversation. <laughs> he wanted the whole conversation to not happen. That's mixed with kids. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> 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 Get some good lines. Yeah, you're doing, you're doing. You're on a roll today, there, Scott. Wow. Um, All right, so go ahead, uh, Tomato. Yeah, what shatter. are we doing? Shatter. Uh, I send. I send a loud ring and noise and painfully intense, corrupted, into strange creatures. Atmosphere center point must make a Constitution throw. No save for a door. Go ahead. All right. Damage, just deal damage. Okay. Uh, and, uh, damage, damage will be a 3d8. Mm. Yeah, just 3d8, I think. So let, me yeah. go, let me go look. Does it matter? Yeah, I'm looking at... Take uh, some vanilla wafers. Yeah, you have vanilla wafers? Oh, yeah, they're, they're right on the shelf next to the uh, the marinade for, for hags. Ah... Uh, a good marinoid. I herald some of the monster hunter. Um, I do not have my D8. Then have a D4 and roll it and roll it, it twice. Roll it, roll it twice or right? Okay. D20 and divide it by. See, was it 16? Can't remember the math. 18. Uh, what does he need? A D8 on a. Uh, if you roll it a D20, what the D8 equivalent is? Uh, well, if you guys have, like, 3d8s, like, you can roll 3d8s for me, that'd be great. I can do it. So you got a... I can do it. I seven. Can do it. A five. Oops. I remembered. It rolled under the couch, so I have to go find it later. And it's last, six. From last game. Total was what? Seven, five, and six. Seven, five, and six. Not uh, bad. No, that's more than enough, because the, the slam... That you did when you crushed down on it with your foot, that the, 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 you you had cracked and damaged it, but it was it took more structural damage to do than you, your first attack had done. So your stomp on it, followed by his uh, energetic spell, blast the door to smithereens. Uh, I couldn't I, I couldn't have done this without you, Xavier. <laughs> e, thanks. <laughs> that's classic. That's, that's classic. All right. Um, so, so now, now as you're descending the staircase, uh, you can hear the sound of something rustling around down there. Or struggle. It sounds like a sound of a struggle. Hello. Uh, you can't make anything out yet, but as you get to the bottom of the stairs, as your eyes adjust to the light, tied to tied to a chair, 
uh, ankles and wrists is a monstrous bovine. A, se- a, bovine. a, a sec gem. A minute, uh, oh. uh, no, we know what they are. We just got through rescuing them and I walking know, through. I know. The tar box. No, we didn't. He didn't That's, the other That's the other guys. Oh, the other guys. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Like, 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 like Travis said earlier, we're just physically too close. I need to get you guys away from here soon. Were they, they creatures in the fifth iteration? Of course, oh, minotaurs existed. Of course, minotaurs existed. Well, they were more like this one. This one's very feral looking, ferocious. He's probably got uh, scratches are you, and scars all Are over you him. peoples or, or are you beasties? He's gagged, so he's got this big muzzle on his face. The letter will, will go over and ungag him. Okay. Removing the muzzle. All right, Minos, you're, you're now unmuzzled. Are you? Come Hello. in, Minos. Minos? He might, he might not be back. Minos, Minos. He just Minos. left the room and came back in, so he's here. Hmm? Yes, it's your turn. You've just been unmuzzled. We found you in the basement, oh. tied to a chair and muzzled. Okay. The muzzle yeah. has been removed. What do you say? The guy asked, are you beastie or, or, or people? That's your breaking up. That's why I can't understand what you're saying. Are you a beastie or are you people? Oh, people. Hey, well, that's cute. Are you good or evil? Neutral. Neutral. We'll soon fix that, and he cuts his, <laughs> his ropes. Okay. Um, you're released. Uh, you, you see daylight for the first time in, in probably uh, close to a week uh, behind them. So do you want to run outside, or are you going to stay down here in the basement and talk with them? I'm going to sit down here and talk with them. Okay, good, good. Any others of your kind down here? Somewhere? Anywhere? I don't see anything. He had a little brother. That's why he was here. He came to get his little uh, brother back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did we get here in time? No. Oh. All right. That's the reason why Minas is pissed off. He's ready. He's, he, he knows what happened. He went into a rage. The, the trees captured him, and then they brought him down here. Uh, Valer will walk up to Minos. How tall is Minos, by the way? He is six foot eight. Okay, so Valer leans down <laughs> nice. and hugs him. <laughs> I'm very sorry for your loss. I wish I could have been here sooner. I'm going down the list, taking out all the hags, but they're evil bastards and sometimes I can't get here in time. And for that, I apologize. Well, apologizing won't bring back my brother. What's his name, by the way? Minos, what's your brother's name? Uh, Toro. Say that again? Toros. Toros. There we go. Toros Tarinthian. Oh, he must have been the heir apparent. Oh, that must be rough for you, being the older brother and not your parents favored. No wonder you're pissed off. I can see why you're a berserker. <laughs> <laughs> I should have been the one. Oh gosh, give him a helmet with a p- eye patch, and all of a sudden we have. Uh... No, no, <laughs> no, no hawk. No, no hawk for hawk. slayers. No, no. Oh, okay. no, definitely no, no, no. Well, uh, perhaps it's a it's a futile effort, but you get first pick of the loot if there is any. I'll cheer okay. you up, eh? He punches his arm a little mm-hmm. bit furtively. Let's, let's, go, let's go break stuff up, okay, shall we? Hey, you want to help me burn the house yeah. down? Yes. There yes. We there we go. Before, we will look for the treasure and then also look out under some of the trees. Oh, I'd like to chop oh. those trees down, too. Oh, yeah, let's okay. make this firewood. Or burn them. Good, good, good firewood. I I agree entirely. <laughs> Let's check the upstairs first. Though. Oh, oh my god, I just got a thought of a great idea. Before. How about we cut down the trees, use that to burn down the house, so the hag can, can burn down 
Hey, but then we have to contend with the monster in the lawn. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, about that. Wait, let's just put trees all the way over across the lawn. So it can't rise up. Let's go upstairs. The trees are bigger than the the lawn is going wide back, or long. Going back up hey, into okay, the we're kitchen, re-entering the access through the through the back of the house. Um, it's considerably quieter now. You don't hear the rustling and 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 noise of all the different ones that were running around earlier. Uh, obviously, many of them have already abandoned the facility, uh, especially after the hag went down so uh, ingloriously. And by the way, the Wonderful smell of roast beast is is coming out of the fur, out of the oven now. It's it's starting to uh, sizzle and crack. Oh, I forgot to put the seasoning on. Oh no! Well, it, oh, it's too late now. It's, it's oh. on a rack. I suppose you could pull it back out if you were going to be really Monty Python esque and continue to torture the poor dead thing. <laughs> no, we'll let it die. I'm convenient okay. gold. Okay. So walk past, walk past the mm. oven and go back upstairs. Fire's still cooking away. Hi, pass on the left hand side. Yep. Oh my nose! Stay on the left hand side. The right hand side's trapped. Do you want more of those branches cut up there? Yeah. Okay. Here's my button. Here we go. <laughs> I'm getting better at that. One of these days I'll be able to do that without even saying anything. Yep. Uh, so. Uh, Going through the the kitchen and back up to back out to the main staircase, uh, the you got rid of the woman, but the blood is now a caked mess where the woman. Oh no! No, uh, the, the, yeah, the halfling cleaned you it let, up. You let the halfling clean it up first. That's right. And then I gave him a gold and sent him on his way. That's and right. He told he yeah. told us uh, stay on the left hand side. That's right. That's right. So you go around to the staircase and start climbing up the left hand side of the staircase. So you get to the top of the stairs. Um, there's a passage to the left and to the right, the left wing um, of the building. The left wing of the building is where the young man came running from, if you may recall. Uh, mm. Came across the landing and then down the stairs. Um, the uh, going, going in that direction, therefore, um, you can see a row of four doors, two to the left, two to the right. And then a bay window on the far end, which would have faced north, which would be the only side of the building that you guys haven't actually uh, explored at all, because you came from yeah. the the right side of the of the lawn where the uh, hanging trees were. Okay. Blair will take a peek out the window. Okay. Um, well, from here, from here, the vista is too bright to make out, so you'll have to wait till you get closer to it, unless you walk all the way to the end, passing all the doors first. I just need to know what your plan is there. Are you going to... He will pass by the doors. Okay. So, passing by the doors, you'll find that all four of them are closed. Uh, they're the classic uh, Victorian-era type of doors with the big uh, skeleton key accesses uh, below the door handles. When you get to the end and look out the window, uh, the mountains... Uh, beyond are uh, clouded in uh, a mist and the mist seems to be rising up from the ground almost like a cloud ascending uh, but it's it doesn't seem to be breaking up so it's not like it's lifting away from the ground it's just simply uh, rolling, hovering rolling yeah. upward sort of oh that's picturesque that is um, hey. The, Why should I come over here and take a look out this window? It's right pretty. The, the trees, uh, the trees are, are are pines on this side, and down below the pines, uh, you see uh, little bundles and bits of white that you think at first is might have been snowpack or something that was still melting, but then you realize no, it's a preponderance of skeletons under the trees. Well, exciting. Oh well, don't look I, down. That's not exactly like what I think it was. That mountains is nice. Yeah, that's wonderful. Mm. We get to burn that that tree forest down too. <laughs> Exciting. Mood cab is turned around, kind of backwards, rather than looking uh. outside. She takes a quick look, but she just is scanning the room to make sure nothing crawls up our it's back. It's really a pity that this place has to become a black burnt scar in the forest. Mm. Well, hey, well, you know, it's something good though. It was created uh, by Ash. Ash, um, after a uh, fire, it brings lush forest. Up Unless you can bring a there, cleric there, up there, here. To... There's a, a, a vibration in one of your lower pockets, though, Valer. Something you haven't experienced 
ever. It just one of the pockets is vibrating. <laughs> like, like, hello. Yeah, it's uh, your felstone indicator. Ooh. I'm gonna look around. What does it say? Well, it's uh, basically indicating that you're standing on top of the location of a fellstone. You know, this thing's usually good to about within 100 feet. Oh. Mm. There seems to be a fellstone nearby. Attic? Is it in the, the forest of death? Of death? Hey, uh, um. well, uh, Xavier, here, catch. I will... Brian, catch the indicator. No, he, he wouldn't throw the indicator. He threw you the key. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. He opened the doors. <laughs> uh, practice your sleight of hand. <laughs> I, can see, I, can, I can see Xavier going, Oh, thank you, sir. I'm so glad you trust me with the uh, key. E. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thought for sure he was going to throw you the Fellstone indicator. All right. So, Badness. key, which door? Left left or right, first or second, referenced to the way you came in. Well, always left. He did say always stay left. to the <clears throat> Okay, he said stay to the left side, so that's what I'm doing. Um, so the from third, the, we'll try the second. The from second the door on the left, which would be from your position now, which would it be? If you're down by the window. That one would be on the right if we were coming from the window. Right. Yeah. So the second from the right on the the window side. So the one nearest the window on the right hand side. If if Valera sees him doing that, he'll go, yeah. eh, 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 stick to the left. Okay, so he'll go to the other side and stick to the left. So you step across, step, step across the, the whole thing. Other side. Okay. So you're in front of the yeah. second door to the left. Got, got you. On the, which is now your left. No, now it's on your right. <laughs> hey, as long as it's the right one, this it doesn't is... matter, right? Go ahead and <laughs> open it. Roll, roll, roll your. So uh, I'm gonna. Now you get the thief. You get the cool, equi cool, the tool equivalency because the key may or may not actually fit, but you still might be able to get it open. Okay. So I, get... I love how keys work like that. <laughs> well, I've actually done that. Um, when I was a youngster, the Yale Lock Company used to make house keys that were... Oh. Welcome back again. Um, they made house keys that were the same template. And so literally you could put the key in the, in the door and depending on how you put it in, how fast you could get into almost any door with like any old Yale key. They since fixed that design flaw, but it was... What yeah, the I'd, hell? I'd, I'd hope so. I once, uh, we well, were at back, a horseshoe. You have to realize horseshoe. That, that the purpose of a house lock back in the day was not to keep out thieves. It was just for privacy. It was, it was the, they were, the idea of somebody coming into your house and stealing stuff was not a possibility. No one would even dream of that. That's, that's, a, that's a 1950s era crime. It didn't exist before that at all. Okay, World Andy Griffith. World War II era, everybody's house had screen doors and nobody left their locked doors locked anywhere. I, I was at a horse show one time and there was a guy, oh, I, in the midst of a horse show, he locked his keys in his car. Everything his kid needs to do the horse show is inside the car and we're off in the back of beyond. And I had a GMC and he had a Chevy that says, well, I know the keys are pretty much the same. Let me try. Mine went in like a grease pig out of a poke and turned it. That's what I'm saying. Back then, again, the, the idea of locks for true, true security didn't exist until the 50s. Actually, it was arguably Truman Capote's In Cold Blood, a novel that changed all that because that was the first time in public knowledge there was a story of somebody breaking into a house and taking a family captive and killing them all. Oh. That changed the world. Oh. That, that book changed the world. And there's been a lot of movies made about it, even about Truman Capote and, oh, and, and his when it, you can, uh, his awareness of the world. Empty this it's just heavy. Uh, Which is a good so thing, I gotta say, 20. to be aware of the world and not leave your door open. Well, no, it realize how many people that entered into their conscious and then. Right. Well, the problem yeah. is that uh, if you ever get a chance, there's a really good series on Netflix called Manhunter. 
that goes into the very details of the development of the behavioral unit of the FBI today. And it talks yeah. about the fact that the reason why serial killers exist is because we started hunting serial killers. Uh. And that the more you draw attention to a type of crime, the more that crime happens, which ironically is part of the argument of the way Nikos works. The more you guys focus on something, the more likely I am to make a story out of it. Yeah. So, so. Uh, uh, Dirty 20. Okay. Yeah, it casino. actually opens. It opens no problem. So. In, in, inside inside you in? see what looks like a uh, a little girl's room. It's uh, The bed is about half normal size. Uh, it's uh, got a tiny little dresser, a little dressing table, a uh, tiny mirror, a brush, a comb, uh, a little pot of, looks like might be rouge. It sounds uh, like eggs. Oh, egg. well, that's just sad, that is. And uh, on the opposite side of the room is a small chest, uh, double-bound iron uh, hasps, uh, very... Very non-effeminate. It doesn't match the rest of the furniture in any way. And uh, we should it... knock on it. <laughs> you go over and knock on it. No, no. I said somebody. I didn't say me. Oh, Someone. I could have heard. Could have I heard you say I should go knock on it. No, no. Okay, but anyway, it's, 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 it's big enough. It's big enough uh, to almost. It looks like a steamer yeah. trunk, so it's probably big enough to uh, have. Um, Five a kids of, in a it. A lot of treasure, or even a body in it. Uh, well, this is your gonna, room. <laughs> gonna kind of point out the kids and be like, "I'm not sure whether we should open that for fear of traps or." Oh, uh, we don't have a you. choice. If there could be a kid inside, we gotta open it. Yeah. So. I'm like, like I said, no. Okay. Here, I'll stand in front of you. Can you, can you open it if I if I put my shield in front of you like this? Yeah. It'll be a disadvantage. Oh, mm. That so. and, and, and on something like this, you do get three attempts at it. So if you if at first you don't succeed, okay. so it's a total of six dice you get to roll. So, but you have to take the worst of each pair. Oh, that would be. Uh, I still get. Do I get? Wait, does it look like the key I have works for this? Or no, now? no, it's not like the door key. So that would be a um five. That'll miss the first time. Now, the second time, you get two more dice. You might, you might want to have them remove the shield, so you can not have a disadvantage. Yeah, it was, that, that would fun. make it easier. Six. Six. Fine. Uh, Valer will remove the shield, but he's still ready to. Very wary. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. He's holding his so action. Last... And ready on his back to pull him out of the way. Yep. Last attempt. Just one die roll. That's all you need. Um, 19. There we go. Uh, once you actually see the lock, clearly you're able to figure out how to fidget it open. And when you fidget it open, um, as the hasp opens, you could have swore you heard the 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 lock make a sighing sound. <sighs> oh, it's like a good drink. Like you're having a good co uh, Coca Cola. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was a, that was a fresh can. <laughs> Happiness in a can. Right? Happiness in a can, right there. Sheer joy of thunder. Well, Valer will will uh, back him up uh, here. You yeah, might, you might want to let uh, me open it. I'm Valer, gonna let Valer take care of that because Valer has his anti, uh, well, his protective shield up. Yep. Elven wood shield and yep. uh, slowly opens the lid. Slowly opens the lid. Inside the box is, uh, uh, looks like it might be pine interior but it's soiled it's it, it's it, it, fa it smells foul uh mm -hmm. sitting down there coated in her own fecal matter is like a five-year-old girl she's very pale uh dark eyes 
straggly dark hair just covered in filth uh pushed back in the corner uh just looking up at you with these big eyes just terrified uh what race uh human with a question mark there might be a slight point to her ears she's a little tall for like to be a halfling child and she's not developed enough to be a full-size halfling so Valer will uh divine sense just in case um the box is exuding a um sense of evil there's there's clearly evil involved but you can't detect the girl w within the space she it's like Ooh. it's like the box you're, you're getting a box of empty evil is what you're, what's your sense well uh while his sense is still going he'll he'll help pull her out and as she comes out she also is detecting as raw evil well like like uh demonic in particular or i don't know yeah yeah demonic she, she she climbs out she's looking up at you and and she's going supposed to not supposed to not i am a bad girl i'm supposed to not you don't have to be she's shaking her head and and, and, and pointing at the window Supposed to not. Supposed to not. What did you do? Supposed to not what? She 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 smudges the the, the, the crackling excrement from her face, pushes brushes away. She says, supposed to not be girl. It's not good to be girl. Go bad. Go bad. Girl bad. Uh -huh. Okay. Can't be, can't be girl. Can't be girl. Put me back. Put me back. What are, what are you supposed to be? Oh my god. Oh well. She she mouths something, but no words come out. Uh. Uh. Could I try a? You hear a crack of thunder. You didn't see any lightning, no, no, no visual cue to it, but a rumble of thunder sounds uh, strikes. Sounds like the strike was fairly close too, so it's a big booming sound outside. Valeric glances at Mooncat for some reason. Do what you think is best. No, he just glances at Mooncat for, for no okay. reason when he hears the thunder. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm just checking. Just checking. Wow. I see no cans. It's okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, you see no what? Nothing. nothing. He's... It's just a joke. It um, it's a joke that, that failed. So. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. I'm drinking my invisible can of soda. Yay. I'm easily amused. Yes. Anyway, she's she's can... she's trying to cr cr creep back towards the, the uh, even as you pulled her out, she's she kind of struggled a little bit, like she didn't want to come out. Okay, well you can go back in the box if you want. Ain't she... no one stopping you. Well, so she 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 does. She crawls back in, curls back up in the very corner of it, hands over her head, eye peering up from between her arms. So, uh, what's I'm your name? I'm Tria. A Tria? Tria. Tria. What race are you? Race? I don't. Uh, race? Uh, race? Race. 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 I don't know. Before don't know. you were a girl, what were you? Not supposed to be girl. Supposed to not. Okay. I think I think it's more yeah. like the girl, the woman didn't like her being a girl. No, I think the woman I didn't don't... like her being what she was and turned her into a girl. She clearly wanted one. Look at the room. Ah, so this is a boy. Necessarily. I don't know. Uh, Valera is going to cast 
uh, bless on her. Oh, she shrinks. She screams. You see Why? your skin crack and, and peel and burn a little. Why? From the bless. All it does is help her in a save. It's not. Okay, that's. Yeah. Wait a oh, the thing is, if she's inherently evil, like a demon or something from the abyss, and has been changed into a girl to hold her here because it loses her powers. Uh, you're, you're talking more information than a uh, ranger would know, Mooncat. I can. Uh, uh, how about I just enhance ability? In the meta. And enhance her in, the meta. No, in, in the meta. No, in the meta, I think Travis realizes that whatever I'm doing is not in canon, so. I get it. I'm just yeah. mm, trying to figure out. Get more information than I have. Yes. Uh, I can. How about if I un enhance uh, <laughs> enhance ability and I can enhance her intelligence? How about true theme? Does anybody here have true theme? Mm. Oh. Oh. You're gonna, I have, so you're gonna I have my divine sense, but. Well, maybe she'll D not Divine be... sense was. Yeah, so she did. When she came out, she did re register as demonic. I did say that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um. Try message. See what's inside no, the no, brain. Okay. So you're you're trying to imp improve her intelligence. Uh, what's uh? There's no save for that. So she 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 is is a, more, a little bit more intelligent. So well, she's no longer saying. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't cast it yet. Po I'm, I, uh, oh. the, I'm asking if I if I should. I'm asking everybody. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. I, I think I can even uh, do wisdom too. Honestly, but, um, do I don't want, know if that would help. Wisdom? Honestly, uh, I think if she's demonic, we should just kill her now. Uh, what, no, I don't want to do that right now. Please, she's please. a little girl. No, but if she's really demonic, why as far demonic? as we know, she is a little girl who may be under a curse. She could be a nymph, a nymph, not nymph. Obviously, uh, yeah. suffering from. She's, she I can mean, be half human, half just, demonic. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody shut your face. No. We just went through an entire tower of cursed individuals who did not look like what they were. True. True that. There's so. no necessarily way that she is necessarily a demon just because I looked at her. Uh, why don't we use the rod and touch it on her and see what happens. I, but if she's cursed to be a, a, a girl, and she's a really is a powerful demon, then that may release the demon. Yeah, and then we just have to kill the demon. Yes, but... I, that's not, that's not how it works. <laughs> so... Let's, 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 let's step away for a moment. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be back, okay? Do you want me to close the lid? No, please, please, I don't, please, thank you for leaving it open, please open. Okay. Can we, can we like wash it or something with some water or uh, something? My, this my is mom, disgusting. It might wander off. You can press uh, no, it to if you want. I'll yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna press it to digitate her in the the the, the, uh, the container because this is just disgusting and I don't want <laughs> to look at a little girl covered in feces. So. Okay. Uh, we as, need as, more information. As as you do so, as long as you're just cleaning the container. She doesn't. She she'll flinch and move away. Make sure she's out of the range of the effect. But when you turn and try to cast it at her, she'll shriek like she's in agony, even before you uh, cast it. Hey, ask her first. Uh, can I please clean you? It's just cleaning. <laughs> it's not. I'm not. I'm not no. gonna do any magic. Po like, post the not magic. No. It's just gonna clean post the dirt the off you. Not no Who magic. Who told you supposed to not? Post the okay. Mom. Mom told you not to do magic. Mom told me no magic. Oh wait, but then it, then you can then then I can do it because it's you it's you that can do magic. Mom, mom said no to magic. Yeah, no to magic to you, so you're fine. No, I'm going no bad. Don't. All right. Uh, does anybody got some water and soap? Oh wait, I got it. Right oh, by the way, put uh somebody keep a tally for me. Put a tally mark for one. Kelly? Yeah. What? Two. Okay. Two. Two? Yeah. Uh, no. 
Yeah, John, keep your own tally marks. We, no, I'd like gonna, to make you keep them. That we have we're to not going to count them. till our own doom. Are you insane? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, I if am. If we're keeping track of them, you can't flub them when we need you to. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Right, well, I'm going to go look in the, the room that's next to her. Maybe we'll find some answers there. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is uh, the Someone other... stay here with her, though. I'm going to I'm gonna put an um, uh, alarm on the around the box. No, no, no. No? Nope. Someone should stay with her. Oh, okay. Then I'll, I'll stay with her and try to... We're, we're just in the next room, so... Right. Yes. Um, she, I'll she, stay here. No, um, okay, for yeah. clarification, she will let you... Uh, if you bring just like a washcloth and try to wash yeah. her off, she'll be okay with that. It's just no magic. Yeah. Alright, I'll do that. Or anything, then you get attached. Yeah, alright. I'm going to feed a little. But I also won't feed her. I, I think an alarm on the door is a good thing. You can be just outside the door. Is and th one on the window. Is there a window in this room? Uh, no, she was pointing to the window out in the hall. Okay. I will do it at the door then, just in case. Okay. There'll be a loud alarm that everybody can hear. Okay. So, uh... So this is the other door on the left-hand side, or is this the one of the doors Aye. on the right-hand side? Yes. Other door on the left. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we're not doing other. anything that is right. We're doing everything that is left. Okay. Unless we're on the right-hand side, and therefore it's on the left-hand side. Including apparently exactly, just we're going to do everything that's left. Okay. Yep. So you open, open, open this uh, second door, and uh, the the room has a spindle. And a spinning wheel, and a pile of uh, uh, <clears throat> looks like uh, wool. That uh, there's a, set, a couple of a pair of cards for carding the wool, and there is a um, two or three completed completely full spindles as well. Um, off on In the meta. right hand side. In meta. Yeah. No one prick your finger. Yes. That yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Um, there's a name written on the bottom of the device, uh, scratched in the wood that you can see just by the, the the reflection of the changes in the wood's color. Hmm. Can't make out what it says from here, but it's definitely on the bottom side of the of the spinning wheel base. Um, inside, against the wall, is a um, Claymore, uh, black of blade, um, about 40 inches of blade, 45 inches of blade, uh, the classic double hander, um, the cross member has uh, skulls at the end of each of the two. Oh well, that's a wicked looking blade. Hmm. Hey, is your divine sense still open? Oh, uh, 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 just still uh, on? Oh, I, I don't. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think that's <clears throat> a good sword, though. Yeah. I wouldn't trust my life to a sword from a witch's hut. Well, they collect from other um, people who try to kill her. I'm that's not... true. That's true. Like, we did get right enough from that last one, didn't we? Mm-hmm. I'm saying it's a meta, by the way, because I'm not in that room, but I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, you came with us because you... Well, no, I... never I said... To... Didn't you say to like, stay with the girl? Yeah, but then... I we... thought he was watching her, but... Yeah. Oh, okay. I was just saying it meta. If you have so... your divine sense still up. Gonna... What was John looking for? I had to I go fix know. something. I'm sorry, I'll be right back. Oh. Okay. My AC decided to die. Stop yeah, it's it got hot enough, and I can't figure out why this time because it's not. Uh -oh. oh, it wasn't me. Dave did it again. It wasn't me either. <laughs> Okay, cool. Dave just sent Damn me a text. It, Dave. <laughs> Dave just sent me a text. I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> and so Dave, you fool. Uh -oh. One yeah. thing I'd like you to do, if you would, please. 
What's that? You know, over in the corner, over here, where you stacked up Not all us. the electronics. Yeah. I'm looking for one of the boxes. The uh, I, I didn't put it anywhere, Gene. Okay. Gene. It's just talking to someone else. I I totally know that, Stephen. I was. I. Hey, well, we can't. I can't tell with you guys. You're both old. I see. I know. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Whoa. Whoa. We're, wait a minute. You don't understand this because we're both old? Is that what you just said? Yep. <laughs> oh, that made my day. Yeah, you've had a lot of day making things today. I know. It's been, you guys are just on a roll for me today. I don't know why. What are you doing? We're on uh, the game. Sleep, sleep deprivation. Oh, you think so? <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. No, no worries. Oh, good. No worries. I, I thought you were talking to me at first, so I kept asking what you wanted me to, how you could see that I, what I was doing, because I was looking for something at the point when you said, it's on the thing with the place, and it's like, what? Where? <laughs> and then, then they go, <laughs> she's not talking to you, John. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, Sorry. No, no worries. Sorry. No worries. Oh. So. Um. I think I'm going to take my dice and go out in the living room and sit in the reclining chair. That's probably nice. Ooh. Yeah. I might want to take your laptop with you just in case. I don't have to. My wireless headphones go all the way out there without a problem. As long as they're okay. charged, right? Just say that. They've charged all night long, so they should be fine. Ooh. Well, not all night long. Oh, relax. You were talking with us until 10, so. Yeah, I know. But but I put them on then, and I didn't pick them up until 1 o'clock. I'm just teasing. Uh, just, yeah. You know me. Yeah. In the morning? That's not very long. You know oh, me. Geez. I'm old. We now determined that. Just because the... some of you guys were on late last night. Yes, <laughs> hey, uh, Minos. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Uh, do you know anything about this sword here? Look familiar. No. Big black sword, skulls on it. Looks like your kind of job. Yeah, it actually does. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That was my brother's sword. Exactly. That was my brother's sword. There you go. Well, then it's rightfully yours, isn't it? Guess so. Yes. It looks like a right evil bastard of a sword, though. Got to see. <laughs> no, it's a claymore, not a bastard of a sword. Ha 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 I believe that the person who freed me and ungagged me from that sword and all should have my sword. No. Uh, what's the story of the sword? Then? It's all yours, buddy. It's, just his, it's, your brother's it's sword. just his brother's mm -hmm. given to his brother by his father. I, he was wondering if it had a family history. It Hi, does, Gene, but we haven't, we haven't delved into that, have we? That's, no. all, that's all stuff we find out in story. Valer, Valer will take the sword and give it to uh, Minos. Okay. All right. Here you go, bud. Right now. I can't hear you. You're all muffled, Minos. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What? I said I already got really good weapons, though. Okay. And you know what you have to do? You have to what speak slower and enunciate your words clearly. No, he doesn't. He just needs to get close to the mic. It's fine. Yeah, to get close to the mic. It's fine. All right, so um, you're, 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 nonetheless, it's your brother's sword, so it's a, it's a, it's a family heirloom kind of a thing. So, it did belong yeah. to, it did belong yeah. to your father before him. So, oh, it did. Okay. Yeah. So you, you want to take okay. it for that reason, if nothing else. Eric. Um, further, furthermore, the, uh, the, the loom and the appearance of all of the wool and stuff is, it, it's not really incongruous. You would have. That kind of a feature on a on a plantation style house like this, but usually not up in a room like this because it'd be so hot to work up here in the afternoons. I'm I'm curious about the words that are written on it, so I go over and lean down closer to see what the words say. It says, uh, uh, "Property of Brobdignag Cord." Rob Dignag? Mm-hmm. What? What? Is that even a word? Yes. Sounds like more than one. It's two, no. words. It's two words. It's even written that way. Rob Dignag is one word, and then a second word, cord. 
were the Goliaths back in her time? No, they were go no, no, they were not. Gan okay. Gidar. <laughs> well, it's obviously not hers. Uh, is, it, is it detective magic? We'd have to ask somebody who can cast a, such a spell. I, okay. I can. I can cast the ritual. It'll take me a few minutes, though. So we should take it and find out who owns it. Now, did you, did you... I'm not cutting around a big old uh, spinning wheel. Yeah, the spinning wheel. This spinning wheel is a, is a, what you would normally use to do spinning. So it's big. It's you, you would usually put it onto a cart and drag it around. You're not going to just carry it. It's not like we have an automaton here to yeah. carry everything. Yeah. Well, we just. Are you, oh, sorry. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Does it spin gold? No, there's no gold in the room. Okay. There's lots of thread. There's, you did get gold. And then Anyone that give gold, it a try? Uh, I heard it once about a spinning reel that spun gold. Well, we need to have the, the fur for sheep. It's or there. goat. I told you that the wool is there. Big piles yeah. of wool and the coat. You know what? Xavier being, Xavier being a curious type will sit down and give it a small. Don't try. prick your Why finger. Not? Don't get tempted. He's to being tempted. very careful okay. about it. Do you have business. do you have the weaving proficiency? Yes. Mail does. He does. Oh, all right. What rogue doesn't have the weaving proficiency? One that hasn't gone through Demolition Man's time frame and had it pumped into his brain and trade for martial combat. Hmm. What kind of rogue would he be if he didn't have the weaving skill? Come on. Well, he's a game Look master. at Xavier you know trying what? to look uh, as if it's uh, on the okay. character sheet. He's actually There's no his... weaving skill, you madman. Yeah, there is no weaving skill, so... I'm what... sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, if you're an improvisational actor, you definitely have to have the weaving skill, at least the weaving skill of Hugo. You know, Hugo weaving? Oh, no one has his weaving uh -huh. skill. <laughs> no one has his weaving yeah. skill. <laughs> oh, okay. He can uh, be Terminator yeah. and he can be... Uh, He's, uh, Elrond. So he's, he's I've bigger used a than the hand irons. spindle, but that's all. Hugo Weaving can weave iron. You know what I'm saying? That's true. That's true. Uh, yeah. If they ever got in a movie, the movie would explode. <laughs> that would be that would be a film. <laughs> what is it based from? No, we're just joking. We're, we're all making riffs on jokes off of the weaving skill. Weaving actually w would be uh, under survival. Um, or tailoring. Tailoring is also not a listed skill. Okay. They, there they, is tailoring. I have survival. I have survival. Right, but it's not so, you that's uh, sitting at the weave. Uh, Xavier, make an intelligence check. Because even, yeah. Yeah, I, I'll be honest with you, I sat down at, at, at a spinning wheel one time and just trying to understand how it worked blew my mind. So. It's an it's a oddly simple device that does something very complicated. Yes. Well, because what you literally do is you take a bundle of loose wool that's been corded so that it's all laying in the same way, and you pull a little thread of it off, and you feed it into the machine. The machine twists it. That's really all it does. And then as it pulls it from your hand, it's twisting it so tightly that it links over uh, links over the the actual material itself and pulls even more. And so all you're really doing is holding the wool back so that it doesn't get clumped. Once so I doubt a 13 goes. will do anything. No, 13 actually, like I said, it's a mechanical skill. It's 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 just a matter of figuring it out and just stay, sitting there looking at it with your inquisitive nature. You would have fiddled with it for a little while, and generally, yeah, you can pull about an inch out of it. And as you're pulling, mm. as you're pulling a couple of inches through the machine, you hear music coming from the machine. Yeah. Oh, that's neat, dude. Okay, that come. That's us. That that's us. my paranoia will... <laughs> so the, what the, kind of music do I hear? All you hear is just the first... Stuff. All you hear, hear are the first notes, and I'm probably going to do it badly, but... Da, da. Is someone at the door? Da, 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 da. Give me one more note, John. I so need I will... He's got to spin the wheel a little further to get the third note out of it. One more, one more note. I need three. Okay, I'm gonna spin it a little further, even though the music makes it very nervous. 
okay. Together. Because you had to start over, it'll you have to you basically spin the wheel up to speed, and then you start feeding it through. And yeah. as you start feeding it through, it goes da da da. Da da da. Da da da. Da da da. Da da. I don't know. I'm lost. Not enough. <laughs> Uh, what, one more notes. time. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Spin it up to speed. Okay. Start feeding the wool through again. Da, 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 da. One more okay. note. There we go. Now I got it. What's it? I'll need a doorbell. Da, 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 <laughs> da, da. Da, da, da. The fact that da, there is music that makes him very uncomfortable. You're a good man, John. Thank you, thank you. I'm trying real hard here. Fifth, fifth, fifth note. Come on, one more time. Spin the wheel. Okay. The speed. Search to feed it through. Da 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 da. Okay. Yeah, right here. I just say it's just spin it all the way through now. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Okay, so you spin up to speed and just start feeding. The music. It. It's not so bad. It's kind of a cute little melody. Da 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 Insane, more. insane, more like because I know I didn't hit any of the notes right. I, I was close, I think, on the first four, but I think I no, you you were singing Charlie Brown. No, it wasn't. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I you were singing just... Charlie Brown. Da 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 that's what I, was I, have to say. I blew it. I apologize, but that's what I was I think yeah. you did wonderfully. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. This is one of those CEGW, close enough for government work. Yeah. You, you got yeah. to it. You got the. Melody. I think the first couple notes were off, but I got it in the end. Okay. I thought you. I thought you would. I've been kind of pretty, pretty damn sure you would, and then be mad at me for screwing it now up. Now what's happening to the thread? Nothing. Oh, it just is a musical. Spinning, spinning wheel. wheel. A spinning wheel. Yeah. Oh, how nice. Intentionally, intentionally okay. Intended, so intended to keep up your morale while you're while you're working this hard remedial job. Oh. Uh, okay. This is break it. This is um. <laughs> you like, break it. You just start smashing no. it. No. 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 Um, I'm just saying, in meta, this this is how bad it's become for me. Cause whenever I hear music, mm -hmm. I I as a player become a little paranoid and this is something completely connect with that is not in your people. It's, it's fair. Valer John here. does things with music. He does you have things. nothing to fear, fear when Valera is here. Are, are you, oh, say, yeah, are you saying that I blew fear. your mind again, Scott? <laughs> it's a musical thing that doesn't kill you? Oh, holy crap! <laughs> or like hypnotize you or something? Yeah, exactly. So is there anything else in the room that... um? Well, uh, the the these spools seem to be marked with with words on them, on the on the on the on the base, the the, the curve of the base, because you know a spindle is the big stick that the the, uh, that yeah. the thread. Well, someone else want to look? I think I know what there is there. But I, I I'll know. take a look. Okay. I'll take a look and, and read the spindles. Okay. Um. This one one of the spindles says. Uh, um. Old Man River, and okay. another one says, uh, uh, "Happy days are here again." Oh, that's much better than what I thought. Where were you going? Where did you think we were going? Janet, Pepper Ann. Oh, nice, Sally. Nice. Oh, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, that is that actually is creepy. I like that better. It sounds good. We'll no, that. no, no. <laughs> that's much better. That's much better. Yeah, I haven't moved anything. I haven't Just imagine Xavier freaking out when yes, he when he realizes yeah. that, that that they are the names of yeah. Sally, Absolutely. Ventra, Liam, Doris, Liam. Oh, 
Um, oh, Liam. 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 You, Liam, Liam, you're just... Alexander with his... Oh. In my car. Yeah, there's food in there. And oh, Jean. I think she's getting complacent now that you're doing it for her. Yep, she's letting me do it all the time. Okay, I don't think well, she's actually... To be honest with you, I don't think she's ever done it but that one time when she never forget, remembered that she did it and couldn't figure out how to get back on. <laughs> Hey, Minos, what do you think? What are you asking for my opinion about? I'm confused. I walked away for a second. Oh, we got this musical spinning wheel here. And and, and uh, Travis found a way to make my story even creepier than I intended, so it's even creepier now. <laughs> There's children's names on each one of the spindles. Oh, yeah, it's actually with the, it's still with the name of the song, because she would have been recording happy music to each one. Oh, God. It was their favorite <laughs> bedtime story. There we go. <laughs> oh. Oh. Stop it. I'm making it worse. Get out of here. <laughs> Are you worse? Leave. And, and now you know why you don't want me playing Stellaris, right? <laughs> God, I'm making it worse. <sighs> you are, though. You really are. You're making it more and more demanded by the minute. Well, we, were, we ran into another hag that was using children's ashes as spices. So, yes. I gotta say that that one came from John himself, anyways. I just reminded. Yeah, him. yeah, yeah. That that well, that was that was the one where the first forest got burned down. I think. Yes, it was I actually. The, I think you're using the freaking hairs of the children to make the spindle fibers. No, not yep. the hairs of the children. If you look at the thread a little bit more closely, Xavier. No, nope, I don't. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. We're <laughs> you good? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm. I am not doing that because <laughs> I'm already. See, <laughs> yes, for people in my campaign, well, leave it at that. for people in my campaign, that's how you make evil magic items. Is stuff like that. Yes, it's like making Girl Scout cookies out of Girl Scouts. Exactly, that is palpable emotions in any creation process can create magic, especially evil ones. Specifically, evil ones. Yeah. Anyways, now we'll go across the hall for something less evil. For now, something completely different, right? Exactly. And now for something completely <laughs> different. Next room, we open up, and uh, the walls are painted with brilliant pastel colors. Um, not pastel. Brilliant uh, what are, what are primary colors. Uh, big balloons ah. and happy clown faces and lots of circus you. imagery. Sitting in the corner is a human size, you know, full size rocking chair. Sitting in the rocking chair is a full size clown. His Burn head, the clown down. His head is rolled down onto his chest. He looks very oh. thin and uh, emaciated. Um, his uh, hands are folded across his uh, middle, um, and uh, his legs are so so it. It, it looks like his uh, uh, costume, if you will, is laying over his his uh, over something rather than actually being filled with nope. something. No, no, no. Okay, close the door. No, kill the clown. <laughs> yeah, I vote the you kill the clown. close the door. The minotaur's going kill the clown. Nope, nope. <laughs> just close the door. Lock the door. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I we'll take clown. care of that when we burn the house. It's fine. That's <laughs> fine. Yeah, that works. That works. Okay, next room. Next room opens to the ocean. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, oh. that's strike three, John. That is strike three. <laughs> it's like, it's I'm like, trying to interact it's with like your story, and you are punishing me. And blood flows out of there. Like no, the no, no, trust me. All I have to do is have that, 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 fog, that fog bell, that buoy sound. Ding, 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 ding. And look out on a foggy coastline, Ooh, and, and, we, and, and, and we will have Valer check out. Ooh. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, you he doesn't do well with blood. And, so I'm just and, told, and it, that was and that, it, that, that blood comes out, guys, and you hear guys, you hear yeah, little girls say, "Come, okay." He was, no. Hmm. no, I'm sorry. Okay. Sometimes Stephen King is way too over the top. You don't have to go that far to be really creepy. But I, you don't open into the ocean. I'm kidding. You open into a, a room where there is a looks like a little wood shop. There's little uh, workbench. Uh, it's about uh, two thirds of regular size. 
Yeah, this is where they make the bones into the spindles for the spinning wheel. Yeah, no, we're good. Okay, closing the door. <laughs> Wait, they are using bones for that? Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Whoa! I did not catch on to that. Uh, no, nope, you, now you're seeing yet. now you're seeing the true power. This is this is the true power of a Nikos adventure because I only write about like maybe ninety percent of it. You guys finish off the details, and sometimes you do a better job of it than I do. <laughs> 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 yep. Well, uh, you've seen everything there is to see. I say we go. Anything else? Uh, sounds yeah. good. Nope. Uh, we'll nope. Um, details for the save the little girl. Uh, she's a demon, so she's wait. Do so. we see up a little girl before we burn the house down? Shouldn't we go get the little girl before we burn the house down? No, Just she's that. a demon. Okay, well then why did we kill her when we had the chance? Because she's not necessarily a demon. <laughs> what? She's Aye. a Schrodinger. Okay, that's the Nicosian equivalent of the Schrodinger's cat, right there. He is, both is and is not a demon until we find out more. Right, and if you go and, to places yeah. and you don't want to find out more, then the cat is still in the box. It's there to burn down. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Then we know that she was rather a demon. Look, if we burn down the house, it's not our fault, because we know that she was rather a another victim of the hag, or she was a demon that we stopped from gaining power. Or when we burn the house, it's going to... No, I'm not going to say that. Never mind. No. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I got it. It's here. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, wait. She does have a treasure somewhere. Are we not going to look for it? Who cares yeah. anymore? It's not worth it. I care. Well, Apparently, you you're independently wealthy. I'm not. I'm extremely independently wealthy. Here, let me be less independent. And he's going to pull out five gold coins and throw it at her. Just, just for fun. Okay, you got five, you go. five gold coins. You got five gold coins on the ground. There are five gold That's... coins on the ground. Yep. Now you're Look wealthy. It. That isn't it. She that says she it? had a treasure. Who did? The heck. <sighs> The heck? If you kill me, you'll never get the treasure, was what she said before you Oh, that's me. just bullshit. She wanted to stay alive. It was all a trick. Yeah, so, that, that other just, hag that, that we killed with the mirrors didn't say shite about any <sighs> treasure, and she had it coming out of her yin-yang. That's true. So maybe this one doesn't have any. Why suppose? Why not try to look for it? Fine, you open the next door then. What was in the woodworking room, eh? Go ahead. I was kind of looking for her quarters. I don't. Uh, nothing that I've seen looks like her room. Nope. You haven't seen anything that looks like her room. You've been in the you've been in the subfloor. You've been in the uh, upper floor, the left wing, but you haven't been down the right wing, and you haven't been in the uh, left wing below, where were the okay. where the service quarters were. Okay. So what we'll is do there, is do is the right else? side now. We're gonna have to go up four guys. Travis, is there anything else in the woodworking room? In the woodworking room, yeah, there's a there's a there's a, a, a set of fine tools, uh, woodworking tools along the far wall. Are oh, there not torture mm. tools? Xavier, you want some tools? <laughs> He'll kind of cock his head through the end of where is direct. Um, those are not my type of. Hey, well, you gotta start somewhere, right? And if you have a <laughs> tools kit, you can trade it in a town for somebody else's tool kit. That's true. So... A chisel works on a handle uh, just yep. as well as a pick. Yep. Yeah, and then you got a hammer, so you could easily. So I'm gonna hammer together. It's a lock breaking kit, not just... a lock opening. Yeah. Kit. I just don't even worry about the bones that it's clearly been used on, but just don't worry yeah. about that. Well, as he as, mm -hmm. as he as he would cross the room, he would get a chance to observe the, um, art the art on the left hand uh, side, which are little tiny wooden boxes with a metal handle, uh, bent in a kind of a short Z pattern sticking out of each one of them. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Hey guys, Here. I gotta go at four. So. Okay. He is gonna. Ignore that. Well, each one of the boxes has, has an image of a little child's face. 
Oh, no. Eh. Okay, he is... <laughs> he is trying to just block bats with the gimmick out of his it mind. It gets worse because some of them are sec-gen children. Ed, are the boxes still moving? Like No. No? All right. Hey, if you t keep twisting, eventually he'll scream. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> <laughs> and I am trying desperately to ignore all this. And, and ignore just it! Get to the... <laughs> you get to the get to the get to the As you get to the toolkit and start to turn around, you see on the side of the boxes where the, where the pictures are on the front, on the side of the boxes are... Uh, um, Heath. Names: Tommy Jackson. Screw it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go over okay. there. I'm open them up. No. Okay. Hey, you this. So I'm gonna. Wait, you're, you're not actually seeing it, Mina. The only one who entered the room was Xavier at this moment. So he's. Oh. Uh, so there. I'm gonna back out as quickly as possible. With his. This is in. not. Yeah. This is not helping. Ignoring everything. He walks out going, this is not helping. This is not helping. Now do you see why I don't give hags the same opportunities that I give others? Yes. Yes. Well, this one, I was really nice. I did let all their servants go. Yeah, you're getting, well, you're getting softer as you get older, Valer. Oh, sorry. All but, all but what? You destroy enough souls and start, you know. I know, I know. It starts to, starts to wear on your heart. I need to find and, a good heart somewhere. Yeah. So he's gonna take um. <clears throat> yeah, Xavier will take the woodworking tools. Yep, you got him. You got a full set, masterwork, masterwork carpenter's tools. Yeah, which pen works then? Well, closing that room. Yep. I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna go check the boxes. What, you don't know there's boxes in there, though. Right. Yes, there no. He's the one that, that I didn't in, say though. there were. Right. He never mentioned what was in the room. He went in, he grabbed the oh. toolbox off the tools off the far wall. The boxes oh. were, if you will, the, sh the room kind of had a slight of an L shape, and so he was in a place where he only saw the boxes. Mm -hmm. So unless he mentions them, you don't even know they exist. Okay, never mind. Okay. And he's trying to forget that he saw them anyway because he'd like them to go to mm -hmm. the place where they get forgotten forever. Yes. <laughs> hey. Yes. What boxes? Exactly. We no boxes, no spindles. They don't exist. Not a one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so down to the next wing. Not down. Across on the left. Going the uh, left. Staying on the left side and walking down the oh, other. Oh, Minos. Hallway. Minos. Uh, yes. you're a bit on the right hand side. Stay on the left hand side. Okay. Of the halls. Okay. We've been told the right hand side's trapped. And it depends on where you go, you always go on the left hand side. And if you turn around and go the other way, you now go on the new left hand side. Exactly. Always on the left. Right is never correct. Right? Right. Left. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So same same structure on this, this wing. Uh, two doors to the left, two doors to the right, and a window opening out. And beyond, you can see the still smoldering remains of that one uh, burned up uh, hanging tree. Wait, we didn't burn a hanging tree. You burned yeah, one the, hanging tree. We tried no, we to burn it. The butler put it out. Yes. So it's still yeah. burnt a little bit. Yeah, there's still this. Oh. They're, they're Is he still out there? Can we see him? Um, no. Oh. I hope he got eaten by the lawn. Yeah, me too. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope he got eaten by the lawn. There we go. <laughs> you think you your treasure might be under the lawn? Uh, you want to check? <laughs> I can think of one way you can find out. <laughs> you go ahead. <laughs> All I saw was teeth, but, you know, if you really yeah. want the treasure that she bad. She goes up to the edge. She takes out her sword. <laughs> okay, stop. It. Stop. Everybody oh, is stop. upstairs by yourself. By, by, uh, oh, Are I... you going downstairs by yourself no. out on the front lawn? No, I won't go by myself. Okay. So, I, I just said I'm that maybe it's it. under the mimic. We just got an ass. Uh, never mind. We just. Uh. Okay. Ah. 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 Away with ye. Horrible okay. sound. Okay, there are four doors down this hallway two to the left, two to the right, and the window that opens, the bay window that opens out over the hanging trees. 
First to the left. First to the left. All right. That that would be over the kitchen. Body. For clarification, that would be just over the kitchen. Um, so you can still. Oh, the smell of crispy bacon is is just. Uh, it's, the smell is becoming. Do my ears deceive me? Do I hear crackling? <laughs> you, I think I do. You do. You do. Oh, nice. Uh, Minotaur, do you want some bacon? Are you aching for some bacon? Oh. We cooked your captor. For the fun of it. He took the emblems off so we didn't have to hear y'all. What? 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 Xavier just... took the emblems off so we didn't have to hear y'all talking about grilling people. Oh, you're speaking <laughs> too fast. He said... Scott took off his headset because he didn't want to hear you talk about cooking people. It's not a people; it's a hag. It's okay. Yeah, it's a hag. They, they're not. They're, they're not, not mortals by any stretch. They are from another yeah. place. Yes, but <laughs> it's more the principle is all in the matter. <laughs> he doesn't like cooking hags. He likes so 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 sauteing. Anyway. Boiling, Anyways, yeah. over the kitchen, the door we open. Okay, so yeah, the door the, the, the door the door opens into what looks like a uh, hmm, uh, it's a room of a, a young woman. You can only really tell that because of the little uh, bud vase with a single rose in it and a uh, a vanity set up with uh, like three mirrors see like the front and the left and right side of your face at the same time um again uh, with a big brush from coming uh, uh, brushing long hair um uh, this in this case there's like an entire complement of um makeups not ju not just a foundation or a rouge but several different concoction little tubes and vials and f whatever and um Ooh, i didn't consider she did kill that other one with dark magics. Maybe she was a hag. I get to mark two off my checklist. <laughs> um, the, the young one. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Um, the, uh, the 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 th second thing about uh, this one in particular, this room in particular, is that there is a beautifully filigreed la uh, uh, lace lined um, diary sitting at the edge of the bed. The bed slightly crumpled as if somebody was sitting there reading the diary not very long ago. It's all you, Xavier. The books is uh, Oh, he'll... and uh, everyone else, be careful around the mirrors. She could have been brainwashed, I don't know. She defended he'll this house jinky. a little bit too well. He'll get me and gingerly take the book. He is not going. He is just gonna look at the cover. He's not going to get to open it yet. He actually is. Actually, he's gonna walk up and do an arcane on the book just to make see if there's any um. Well, the the, 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 the fun aura. part about the fun part of this is as you step into the room, uh, the others see you as a young girl. In a in a in a plaid summer dress. Okay. I goofed it up. And at the, 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 there on the on the table on on the bed is uh, the diary, and it says, "This is your life." Nope. Hey, um, arcana um, check. Arcana check indicates that you are in a field of arcanic magic right now of transformation. Do not touch the diary. Okay. Instinctively, therefore, so. you realize you're in a field of magic. Instinctively, especially after uh, Valer so kindly shouts, don't look at the mirror, you feel a slight compulsion to turn to look at the mirror. Make a wisdom check to not do so. Plus five. This was not my fault. I want everyone to know this was not my fault. This was here before I said it, I'm sure. No, it yeah, wasn't. this was here before he said it. This is, that's true. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. You resist looking in the mirror. But the book still beckons to you. Mm. 
He's a he's I'm a gonna... ape, right? He doesn't have a tail. We can't pull his tail. No, he doesn't have a tail. He's an he's an ape. He's not a not a not a monkey. Yeah. Xavier, get your ass out of there. Um, make a wisdom save, uh, Xavier. Plus five. <laughs> so that would be a 24. Okay, you you heard I him. I was just making sure you could still hear him because his voice sounds f distant, like like uh, far away, yeah. almost like in a memory. Why? Like, yeah, like I'm like he's in a tunnel, basically. Right. So. So can I get out of there? Or? Yeah, yeah, the, 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 yeah. You can. You just yeah. immediately walk out. The, the 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 unnerving feeling is 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 very disconcerting, and the fact that you beat the rolls twice, you're able to walk right back out. Yeah, oh. it's a long workout. Um, and as soon as he back. crosses the threshold, he's back to being Xavier again. Oh. You are pretty girl. <laughs> you are very pretty. Are you sure you don't want to go back in? Oh no! And I'm shutting the door <laughs> okay. very firmly. Butter's gonna take out a crayon and start putting an X on doors. <laughs> We're not yes, going in this one. Good idea. We're not nope. going in this one. <laughs> We're noping this room. <laughs> he, he just goes back on on the uh, on the left hand side and just quickly marks the X's and then a big question mark on the girl's door. Nice. Okay. It's four oh well, six. The right it's four oh six. I guess we'll have to call it for today. But that's that was a great mm. great session, guys. And we'll try to make, try to be here at one o'clock next time so we can get the full rest of the house finished. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. So thanks again for playing, everybody. Thanks for you, those of you that watch us on the stream. Make sure you catch us next time. Oh, uh, and Drifter was here again, and hey. he thinks uh, he he goes. Oh, by the way, did anybody remember to bring a holy symbol? I am a holy symbol. Uh, he's so pretentious. I am an unholy symbol. So, so anyway, Dr so Drifter was here. Thank thing. you so much, Drifter. Thank you for anybody else who's watching. I hope to see you again soon. Remember, every day at 1 o'clock we're doing something. Uh, I'm Jonathan Albin, the uh, Game Market Guru. This is Nikos. Bye! We'll be Bye! Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah, I got ahead of myself. We are probably going to be doing... Well, we are going to be doing Iteration Nation tonight, 6 o'clock on... Uh, uh, the Iteration Nation channel, so watch us on Twitch yep. there. Uh, we're we'll going to play some in. Minecraft. We'll put the link in here a little bit later. And uh, we're not we're not committing to anything, but we might be playing that, that game that was mentioned. But I haven't uh, officially said that yet. So, all right. Cheerio, bye. Bye. Cheerio, bye.